David, we're going to start reading at the 13th verse. And now, uh, I want to preach a message today because I pastor and I look over churches with a bunch of eagles. You all are sowing in the spirit and you're going someplace. Matter of fact, eyes haven't seen nor ears have heard. Neither have it entered into the hearts. The things God has prepared for you all who love him. But he's yet revealing it to you by his spirit. And he's going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could even ask. Or think. God never had do stuff. Are y'all right? But I want to preach a message. Ten chickens and two eagles. Ten chickens and two eagles. Read the book, David. Numbers 13. Chapter, numbers 13. Thank you, coach. You still, you still put me in the ride. You still saying, get on your right. <laughs> now coach saying, straight up and fly right. Amen. See, you still dealing with that right? Oh, yeah. You need some people in your life to tell you to strain up. Yeah. And fly right. Yeah. Amen? Amen. First verse says, And the Lord spake unto Moses. And the Lord spake unto Moses. David, I need you to lead me in this. Uh, what to go next. Amen. We talk. Amen. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men. Send thou men. God is ill looking, coach, to send men. Yes, sir. And he's going to send somebody if he can't find no man. Read the book. That they may search the land of Canaan. That they may search the land of Canaan. Now he ain't say that they may go search out heaven. Huh? But the land of Canaan. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can't wait to get to heaven but you're supposed to bring heaven down on earth. Give us this day our daily bread. Thy kingdom come on earth. The kingdom is supposed to come on earth. You in a hurry to go to heaven and God in a hurry for you to get the kingdom down here. There are some places that God has for you, my brothers and my sisters, that now I'm going to push you into possessing your land. Read the book. Which I give unto the children of Israel. I give unto the children of Israel. Now, now watch this now. Because he's giving it to you, don't mean it won't take no effort to possess it. See, the world have taught folks to have that mentality of always having a hand out. No, when are you going to go possess what belongs to you already? I'm preaching already. Read the book. Of every tribe of their father. Now I want you to look at the children of Israel and I want you to pick the top people, the leaders. One out of every tribe. Get the ruler. Get the leader. Look at your neighbor and say, You a leader. You a leader. Say, You a leader, baby. You a leader. Now, if you said it to a man, you know, you ain't got to worry about it. We all, we are, we are, hundred per, we are hundred and thirty percent men. Women, you can say baby to a, a 
woman and not be talking about babe. Oh, This ain't no hanky panky funny stuff. You all my babies. I love you dearly. Amen. Read. Of every tribe of their fathers shall ye send a man. Uh huh. Everyone a ruler among them. Uh huh. And Moses, by the commandment of the Lord, sent them from the wilderness. Moses had to hear God and had to tell the people. God haven't changed that. Who is the leader that God speak to in your life? When they speak, are you there to hear? Speak to me, Lord. He said, you won't even obey the hear what I said. Watch this now. Read the book. All those men were heads of the children of Israel. Listen, they were the tails. They was the leaders. They was the heads. They was the head. Read that again. All those men were heads of the children of Israel. Look at your name and say head. Head. Get your head. Get your head. Out your. Out your. Out your. Uh -oh. <laughs> See, because when there's real, there's not real leadership, it affects the house. It's a, it affects the church. You ever been in a job on a job where somebody in position but they ain't a real leader? Yeah. Everything is chaos. Yeah. Confusion. Right. Don't know which way to go, turn, lift your leg, put it down. <laughs> and so in the church, you got to stop run, running after position title, paper, and start running after the heart of God. Because I tell you all the time, church work don't mean you're doing kingdom work. Because when you're doing kingdom work, you follow the king outside of the building. Read the book. Verse 16. Uh-huh. These are the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out the land. Uh huh. And Moses called Oshea, the uh -huh. son of Nun. Uh huh. Jehoshua. Uh huh. That's Joshua, y'all. Read. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan. Uh huh. And said unto them, Get you up this way southward and go up into the mountains. First of all, you got to get up. Yes, sir. Why right on Sunday? The wife is the first one to get up. Look at your neighbor and say, man, get up. Man, get up. Man, get up. She need a leader. Get up. Man, you going to love me after a while. Just stay with me, man. You just love me. I'm not talking about being a dictator. I'm talking about being a leader. A, a dictator have a mouth, a leader have a walk. Darling, you are so pretty, girl. I'm preaching better than they help me. So every once in a while when I look at you, you just smile at me, okay? Just like this. Are you all right? And see the land what it is. Uh huh. And the people that dwell in therein, I got something for you to possess, but I want you to go check it out. Okay. I don't want you to take the chickens, I want you to take the leaders. And so when crucial time comes, you find out whether it's a leader, an eagle, or a chicken. All right. Are y'all right? Yes. Read the book. Verse 25. Uh-huh. And they returned from searching of the land. And they returned from searching. Twelve rulers returned from searching the land. Can y'all understand me? Put a little volume. I'm struggling with my voice. Give me a little more sound. 
Can y'all hear me? Yes. Preach. I mean, preach. Read. You, yeah. you preach, Bishop. He read. Okay, we got it. We got it. Read. And they returned from searching of the land after 40 days. You talking about you want to possess this or that, but you won't get up. You can't do it till you get up. That job ain't coming to you. Get up. That new house ain't coming to you. Get up. Yes. Shall walk by faith. The just shall live by faith. Read the book. And they went and came to Moses. And they went and they came to Moses. Read. And to Aaron. Uh huh. And to all the congregation of the children of Israel. And they came back to report to the leaders Moses and Aaron. Read. <coughs> unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation. Now Moses says, go search it out. Let us know what's happening. They come back to bring the report. That's why a real leader has to put on Musk on his ears sometimes because folk will say, God will say, go here. And folk will tell, I don't understand. You won't understand till you follow. Because it requires obedience before God manifests the thing. Read. And show them the fruit of the land. Uh huh. And they told him and said, we came unto the land whither thou sent us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey. Surely prosperity yeah. is in the land. Come on, yeah. Read. And this is the fruit of it. And this, look, I brought back some stuff so you can see it. Because I know some of y'all stay in the show me state. Huh? Read. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land. It's some good fruit over there, but them folk are strong. And go back to how you see yourself. Watch this read. And the cities are walled. Uh huh. And very great. Uh huh. And moreover, we saw the children of Anna there. Oh, now y'all know about them Anna's. They were giant folks. Read. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. Listen, when God have a promise for you, don't focus on the obstacles. Focus on the promise. If God said it, God can perform it. God wouldn't send you to spy out the land if he was going to cause you strength to possess. Listen, because you knocked one time and they said no, that don't mean you stop knocking. Read. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. Uh-huh. And Caleb steal the people before Moses and said, let's go up at once and possess it. Oh. Caleb said, I don't care how they look. I don't care how big they are. See, I'm motivated when people say what I can't do. I'm motivated because God said I can do all things through Christ. What's strengthening me? Who report is you going to believe? Are you going to be a chicken or an eagle? Watch this, read. For we are well able to open up. said, I'm an eagle. Forget what these dumb chickens, these dead chickens say. We are well 
and able to possess. When you want to make a move for God, you need to take some people that have some Caleb and some Joshua spirit and say, no matter how it's look, we can do it. We can do it. Read the book. But the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people. Oh, here come these doggone chickens. <laughs> I want to put, can, can I change the message? Can I change the message? Can I change it? Okay. E erase my first thought. Five chickens and five turkeys and two eagles. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, Pastor Randall, you got to be so in tune with God that you don't bring other eagles in when we establish the ball eagle. We don't cover out other eagles. That's why when something go on, you got to learn how to stay with the tool of the spirit and flow with it. Because Caleb said, we can do it. These other boys brought in some more junk. Y'all got to look at Randall like he weak. He an eagle. He can take uh, 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 cause, uh, good criticism. Because he know the instructions is to help him. They that love thy love. Help me out, Sentry. Great peace have they. Great peace have they which love thy law. And nothing shall offend them. The reason folk get offended so easy, you don't really love God, you love you. See how teamwork make the dream work? Yeah. Yeah. Write this down for team. Together, everyone achieves more. Yeah. Together, everyone achieves more. We don't need no solo. Right. Lone Ranger had contact. Right. <laughs> so he wasn't no Lonely Ranger. He had some help. Are oh, y'all all right? Yes. Watch this. Read. We be not able to go up against the people. Because you have to have a sound that you pay attention so you won't bring in two vision. Because the woman told you, and I told y'all for years, two vision bring division. Yes. That's why you don't let folk come from other church and try to bring a other church into your church. Yes. If that was so successful, why you here? Yes. Go back down. Right? Watch this. Read. For they are stronger than we. <laughs> Look at these chicken and turkeys. You got God. Joshua and Caleb realized we ain't going in our strength. We got the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. And he used to win. But these folks are about they too good. I, I would marry you. I'm just waiting for my finance to increase. You a turkey. We would go purchase that. I'm just waiting for my uh, uh, rains to come in. You a chicken. The just shall hear God and walk by faith, not by what you make it. Because if you walk by what you make it, when you get comfortable, they'll lay you off. But God will take care of you if you didn't have that. Because he will angry. See, we make the wrong things, God. And they don't care nothing about you. Well, my church used to love me. Y'all should see the looks y'all give me. 
Read the book. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel. Uh -huh, let's hurry on. Read. Saying the land through which we have gone to search, it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. Uh -huh. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. Uh -huh. And there we saw the giants of the son of Adam, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. First, the vision of themselves was incorrect. Because they, we look like grasshoppers compared to them. And even to them, we look like shrimps. But when you get the eye of the eagle, you realize no matter how the obstacles look. Long as I have the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on my side. It doesn't matter how the doctor say. It doesn't matter what my job say. I'm going to possess the land. Because God told Moses to tell the people of Israel, get the leaders and tell them go search out the land. And God know that 12 went, but 10 came back. Five was chickens. Five was turkeys. But two was eagles. And said, we're well and able. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, no matter what you're going through, take the eye of an eagle and say, I'm flying over it. I'm flying through it. I'm flying above it. I'm flying to the sun. I'm flying with Jesus And with Jesus We can make it And with Jesus We can weather the storm And with Jesus We can be successful I'll say yeah I'll say yeah I'll say yeah We will enable not heard that the everlasting God the creator of the end of the earth he faint not neither do he get weary the young man faint and get weary the boy even run and lose strength but they that wait and keep waiting and keep serving and keep doing and keep coming and stay faithful and stay available and stay teachable don't back up when storms come they shall mount up above the storm what you're going through and speaking what he's going to take you through. I said, I'm gonna, well, you don't understand what I'm facing. You don't understand what I'm going through. That's a good thing. Don't pump right there. Go right through it. 
Isaiah said, go through, go through. Don't part there. The storm don't last forever. And you don't know the storm is uh, uh, weathering and, and refreshing and moisture and the rain is just making the ground right for your miracle. So go through it anyhow. Don't back up. Don't give up. I don't care how ugly it looks. God got greatness behind the ugliness. God know how to make ugly beautiful. He beautified the meek with salvation. Keep walking with God. Keep on, don't bag up. I'm tired of chicken and turkeys. When trial hit their life, you don't see them in church. We was going through. You don't understand. Yeah, I understand you a chicken. But when an eagle goes through, he said, God, lift me above the storm. Can make you meet you. I won't quit cause ain't no quit in me. Great is he that liveth in me. And he that liveth in the world. I'm a victorious. Making all these things. I'm more than a kind of world. I'm so glad. He always calls us to try out in him. Oh, say yes. Oh, say yes. Oh, say yes. In my closing, it's time for you to put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to withstand the trickery and the wiles and the slickness of the devil. Paul said, I would not have you ignorant of his devices. I come to let you know, put on the whole armor of God. Put you on the helmet of salvation when them thoughts want to come to you. Guess what? I don't care what somebody did. You put on that helmet of salvation and protect your thoughts because the best is yet to come for you. You still an eagle. Listen here. That chicken and turkey didn't understand your value, girl. You just keep on lifting your head up and walking with your power. The best is yet to come for you. And when he stole them fiery darts at you, put up your shield. Come on! That yeah. shield of faith. Yeah. He knocks down them fiery darts. Yeah. You don't want to be a leader if you don't want to be talked about. You don't want to be a leader if you don't want to be talked about and criticized. Every time you stand, somebody gonna misunderstand. But keep standing. Having done all the stand, you keep standing. Look at your name and say, you're later, you're later. I say, you're later, you're later. Get up, leader, you're later. I ain't got to have a position to be a leader. God made me a leader. I don't need a bunch of license and title. God made me a leader. Jump on your feet if you're a leader. Then you got to get your lines girded about with truth. That's why it's important to come to Bible class so you can get an importation of truth. And knowledge alone is not enough. You need to get in the presence of God and seek his faith. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is there. Let the wicked man forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thought. And let him return unto the Lord. It's in the presence of the Lord. It's the fullness of joy. And at his right hand is pleasure forevermore. It's in his presence that he will give you revelation, understanding, more anointing upon your life. Get in his presence. You in people's presence more than you in the presence of God. To get people 
Throw away the phone, cut it off, lose your cell phone, get in the face of God. Ain't nobody help me through this but you, God. I went to the church, they put enough oil on me. I look like a my God. I look like a my, my God. I look like a mechanic that been working all day. I need the oil of the Spirit. Touch me, Lord. Lift me, Lord. There you are. But he don't know, baby, he just set you up for greatness. Yeah. He made us look to the hill from which cut our eye up. Oh! And my help coming from the Lord. Uh, he tripped me up and he made me look unto Jesus. Uh, he's the author and the finisher of my faith. He got the gun of good work in you. We complete it to the end. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. Look at your name. Say, don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> you should arise like never before. Don't you give up. Baby, don't give up on me. I won't give up on you. Because we're going to hide together. I see y'all by shot. I got zero. We're going to hide together. In my closing, God sent you here for me to tell you that you went through the hell and the tough thing because he was squeezing some olive and he was crushing some more oil. I know that the devil set it up to take you out, but he don't know. When they put Jesus on the cross, it looked like it was over. They put him in Joseph, bore it to him. They didn't need to purchase it. He just needed it for three days and three nights. And looked like he was loose. On the cross, but you can't put a, a a good man down, and he don't get up. Hey! They put him in the ground, and Satan and his demon say, "Now it's party time. We got him now." But when Mary went to anoint his body, the stone had been rolled away. Jesus let them know that nobody did steal my body. He took his napkin and he folded it neatly and he left it in the tomb and he got up. With all power, I'm going to tell you, you are eagles and not chicken. You are eagles and not turkeys. You finna get up with more power. You finna get up with more glory. You finna get up with more victory. I'll say it.
past will not block my future. And you throw your hands up and say, I'm oh. The Bible, the Bible tells, and that's that's where we get uh, the the worldwide ministry from. Looking unto Jesus. The beautiful thing about that is that I discovered that eagles are able. The only bird that's able to look at the sun and fly right straight into it. That's a that's a natural eagle. That's a physical eagle. But I'm talking about these spiritual eagles. We ain't looking at the S U N. of a relationship with our Lord and Jesus, Savior Jesus Christ, this is your opportunity to come into that relationship. We ain't inviting you into a religion. We inviting you into a relationship with a true and a living God. If you know you need that relationship, come to the altar right now. Will you come? Come on, make up your mind. It don't take no all day. You know you need...